Hello friends, welcome to Biology Made Easy. Today I'll be bringing you a very intricate and intriguing topic known as the integration of the novel amino acids. So we'll be talking about here exclusively about the selenocysteine, which is a very novel amino acid. What happens is we all know that cysteine is an amino acid which contains sulfur. And in this amino acid, selenocysteine, the sulfur is replaced by selenium. So it becomes selenocysteine. So how is the incorporation taking place here? How does it get incorporated? The thing is, we have UGA codons. You might be wondering that's known as a stop codon. But in three of the E. coli genes, and even in eukaryotes and archibacteria, what happens is the UGA codon can be read by a charged tRNA. And the charged tRNA would have 5 UCA anticodon. The thing is, in normal cases, in the cases of the normal genes, this codon cannot be read by any charged tRNA. There is no such tRNA which can read this codon. But in the cases of 3 E. coli genes, it can be read by the tRNA which has got 5 UCA at its anticodon loop. So the thing is, it can be read. So instead of the release factor 1 and 2, or ERF1 in case of the eukaryotic system, this very charged tRNA can get inside and can get incorporated and, and, and can read this codon. So what happens then? So what kind of tRNA is it? So the tRNA responsible for incorporation of the selenocysteine is longer than 90 nucleotides. In my previous video, I had made you acquainted with the number of nucleotides present in a tRNA molecule. I told you some 70 to 90 nucleotides, mainly 76 nucleotides long. So the upper limit was 90 mostly. But this crosses this. It has got a tRNA which surpasses the upper limit of usual tRNA. So it's more than 90 nucleotides long, which is the tRNA responsible for selenocysteine, tRNA sick. Second thing is it has got 8 to 5 AT ratio. 8 to 5, 80 ratio instead of 7 to 5. 80 ratio means what? The ratio of the number of nucleotides present at the amino acid terminal end or the amino acid acceptor end to the ratio of nucleotides present at the T5C loop. So that is 8 to 5 instead of 7 to 5. 7 to 5 is the usual ratio of A to T present in any normal tRNA, but it contains 8 to 5 in the prokaryotic bacterial system. In case of eukaryotes, it, it may also contain 9 to 4 ratio. 9 for A and 4 for the T5C loop. Now, the third point is, or the main point is, from this point onwards, the mechanism starts. Amino acylation. So, the thing is, the there is a very minor difference between cysteine and selenocysteine. But first, what happens? The charging or the amino acylation or the charging of the tRNA. The tRNA sec means the tRNA responsible for the incorporation of selenocysteine would be first charged with the amino acid serine, S-E-R, serine, via the amino acid, via the enzyme amino acyl tRNA synthetase specifically responsible for serine. First it would be charged and thus I have written it here, sir tRNA sec means serine tRNA which is the tRNA responsible for the incorporation of selenocysteine. So now this very tRNA which is responsible for the incorporation of selenocysteine has got serine attached or, or has got itself charged or amino acylated with the amino acid serine. Now in the bacterial system E. coli, next enzyme would be selenocysteine synthase. Synthase means it doesn't require any ATP from the hydrolysis or any energy from the hydrolysis of ATP, GTP, UTP, CTP or TTP. So it's a synthase enzyme. So this enzyme converts this serine tRNA, which is the tRNA for the selenocysteine into the selenocysteine tRNA and the tRNA is for the tRNA for the amino acid selenocysteine. So now this very tRNA which is responsible for the incorporation of the amino acid selenocysteine does contain selenocysteine. First it is charged or amino acylated by the amino acid serine 
then it gets into action. What gets into action? The enzyme selenocysteine synthase and this enzyme selenocysteine synthase converts the serine into selenocysteine. Thereby, this tRNA which is responsible for incorporation of the amino acid selenocysteine does contain selenocysteine. So that is about it in the prokaryotic system. Now, there is a whole different ball game in case of the eukaryotes and the archaebacteria. What happens is, first of all, in eukaryotes and the archaebacteria, the first amino acid or the tRNA which is responsible for the incorporation of the amino acid selenocysteine would be again first charged with the amino acid serine via serine amino acid or you can say serine amino acyl tRNA synthetase enzyme that has done this step and this step is purely analogous. Now there is a kinase in case of eukaryotic system. Kinase means any kind of enzyme which adds a PO43 minus or phosphate group to its specific substrate. So the kinase PHTK in case of eukaryotes and archaebacteria, it phosphorylates this very charged tRNA which contains now first of all serine but the tRNA is for the incorporation of selenocysteine. So this tRNA, this charged or amino acylated tRNA is first phosphorylated and then the enzyme sepsec s this enzyme converts the serine into selenocysteine and thus the trna responsible for the incorporation of the amino acid selenocysteine does contain selenocysteine you might be wondering how does this phtk come into action or how does this selenocysteine synthase come into action this both these two this kinase and this very enzyme are substrate specific. This enzyme only acts on the tRNA selenocysteine which contains serine means it is specific for tRNA selenocysteine which contains serine and this kinase is responsible for the tRNA selenocysteine. It will never ever phosphorylate tRNA serine. It is only specific for the substrate tRNA selenocysteine thereby it can distinguish with clarity that this is the tRNA selenocysteine and this enzyme does want to only phosphorylate that very substrate and thereby can thus phosphorylate this one and then it can make it a soft target for this very enzyme. So this kinase would first phosphorylate and this, this sepsec S this very enzyme would convert this serine into selenocysteine. So this PHTK kinase is extremely specific for only tRNA selenocysteine, not for tRNA serine. So keep that point in mind. So that's about it, about the novel amino acid selenocysteine. So if you have any kind of doubts, queries, do post it on the comment section below. If you have liked my video, do hit the like and the subscribe button. Thanks a lot.